Hello everyone, welcome to the day 3 of the Python 30 course. In today's video, we are going to learn about mastering the Python date time module. Especially, we are going to talk about STRP time and STRF time methods in the Python date time module. Now, before we start, a small request for you. If you feel you are benefiting from these videos, make sure to tweet your daily progress with hashtag Python 30. That way, more people can learn about this course and benefit from it. Now you know the drill. Once you finish this tutorial, you have to go ahead to my GitHub repository and try to solve the questions provided for this topic. Don't check the solutions file first. Try to solve the question yourself. Also remember one thing. If you solve the question and you have a better solution than the solution proposed in my, in my repository, then make sure to send a pull request to the GitHub account. That way, I can include your solution in my repository and can also mention your name and other details. That is a great way to be recognized within the Python community. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. One of the commonly used methods in the Python date time module is the strf time method. Ever had to copy data and time to JSON or maybe named a log file using the date and time as suffix? In order to carry on those tasks, you need to convert a Python date time object to its relevant and usable string representation. The strf time method from the date time class allows you to create a string represent representation of a date time object. In order to do that, you are supposed to provide two arguments, a date time object and an explicit formatting string. To check the complete list of formatting strings, check out the description you should find a link. You can also click on the i link on the top right corner of the video. Let's use this method to convert current date and time to different formats. So if you go ahead to the link provided in the description, you can see these are all the string formatting variables. All right, percentage A, percentage capital A, they all mean something here. Let's go ahead, use these in our code to convert a normal date time object into this format. So basically year and then forward slash month forward slash date and then hour forward slash uh, minute forward slash seconds. All right. Now let's do it on the date time dot now object. So I can say current equal to date time dot now. And then what I can do is let's first print current so this is how we are getting it. Instead of a slash, we have a dash hyphen. So in order to convert it to this format, we can say required format equal to date time dot strf time. And then first we pass in the date time object and then the exact string representation. So let's check out. So for example, the year here, if you see percentage Y, uh, capital percentage Y represents year with century as a decimal number. So from 1 to 9999. So basically we have to use this format first. So here I can say percentage Y and then we need a slash and then we have to convert month. Let's check out the month here. So here you can see percentage small m is month as a zero padded decimal number. If you ever have a doubt with the description, Check out the example here. So basically, if you use percentage M, it is going to return a month between 1 to 12, which is exactly what we want. So I can say percentage M and then the date. We can see that day of the month. So percentage small d and it returns us date from 1 to 31. So this is exactly what we want. Let's put it here percentage D and then we have to put in a space and then the hour. So percentage H is the hour here. So let's use this one percentage H and then minute. So it's very easy. You just have to look at this list and basically copy whatever you want, you know, and then seconds. So now if I print required format, we should be able to get our date time object in the format necessary. And if we print type, you will see that it is a string. 
exactly so class string so basically this way you can easily convert a date time object to more readable formats you can convert it to different formats you want so i would really suggest you to go ahead and play with all these string formattings here the strp time method does exactly the opposite of strf time it converts a string to a date time object in order to do that we need to provide two kinds of arguments a string representing date and time and the string formatting code that is equivalent to the string let's convert a date time string to a date time object so let's convert this date string which is in the string format and is uh, has forward slash for the date and has colon for the uh, time let's convert it into a date time object in order to do that we can say print date time dot strp time and then first we have to pass in the date time string which is dt underscore string and then we have to pass in the right formatting uh, variables right so basically we have to go here so formatting strings basically and we have to pass in the strings exactly in the way the string has been uh, designed here so first the year uh, year is percentage y and then there is a forward slash so i'll put forward slash then this is month month was i guess percentage small m here right so i can put percentage small m and then the date i can put percentage small d i think it was percentage small d only let me just check one more time correct and then hour was percentage h and then uh, minute was percentage m second was percentage s let's put all of them so percentage h and then we have a colon here so i have to put colon and then percentage m and then percentage s all right and now if i print this and here you see we have a date time object back again and now if i do type here basically to check the type of this uh, created a uh, thing we, it is date time dot date time so basically this is how we you can also revert back a date time string object to a date time object right so thank you everyone for watching this video in the next video we are going to talk about converting date time objects to unix timestamp and vice versa and time zones so thank you guys make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay alert for my next video